it, Tim. Tim, we're getting something great, something with a real switcheroo. Yeah, we got a real bubble on it. All right, make me bubble. Make him bubble. <clears throat> well, you know the story. Yeah, I know the story. Ah! We'll pick it up for the black wasp has grabbed the girl. <laughs> she's a pretty smart kiddo. She knows what's coming and she struggles. <laughs> Wait a minute, Joe. What's the matter? Before she struggles, the wasp gives her the business. Yeah? About the plans, remember? Yeah. He asked her for the plans to Twilight's new rocket ship and she turns him down. That's right. <laughs> He's about to give her the sting of his breath. Sting of death! Sting of death! <laughs> Ah, oh, but Captain Twilight was caught off guard. Captain <laughs> Twilight realized he's in the tightest part of his career. Does that stop him? No! Why? He throws him, he gives him everything in his gut. He throws himself out of his stuff. Why are you? Ah, he'll almost come back, Captain Twilight. Captain, stop him. Twilight, he comes back again. Ah. Why are you? He always comes back, Captain Twilight comes and he comes and he comes. The wasp is He'll always come back. Ah, uh, the wasp is about to give Captain Twilight the sting of his breath. Sting of death. Sting of death. Why are you? Oh. Tim, what do you say? Is that a great twist or not? Oh, it's great, fellas. I'll buy it. <laughs> and you can have it. <clears throat> Am I crazy? Certainly. Why? Well, wait a minute. You gotta be crazy in this business to make any money. Then Mr. Mooney's crazy. Well, certainly he's crazy. Everybody's crazy. We're all crazy! <laughs> <laughs> What else have you got? Only your character for next month's magazine. I couldn't sleep a wink thinking about it. Next time you can't sleep, try counting sheep. I will. Hmm. My suggestion is to throw this in the wastebasket. In that case, we'll take the basket up to Moody. He might fool you and like it. Just a minute, Jones. I'm still general manager of the plant. Hilton Payne, remember? Oh, brother, how could I ever forget it? And Mr. Moody can't approve something he doesn't see. No. And furthermore, I don't approve of anyone who steps on my toes. You wouldn't. It's like a spot for a pinch hitter. What's the score? Hello, Betty. It's tied. He says no, I say yes. What you boys need is a referee. Now, honey, don't you bother your pretty little head about details. Jones and I will settle this between us. Maybe I could decide. I think I know father's likes and dislikes as well as you do. And I've decided it's tops. Thanks. Well, Betty, I... I guess your decision just about covers everything. You know, it's funny what jealousy can do to a guy's judgment, isn't it? I can understand that. Father thinks I'm gonna marry him. You know, you have the most beautiful eyes. Tim, father isn't a well man. And the most beautiful hair. He... He depends on me and... And the most beautiful man. Tim, stop. I'm serious. Yes, I know. And, well, I think that we should do something about it. Yes, uh, yes, we will. But you still have the most beautiful hair. And... and the most beautiful And I've decided to... And the most that I, beautiful I've decided mom. that I'm going to get a doctor. Yes, I know. Okay, okay. <laughs> Ms. Wilson, where's Mr. Austin? Good morning, Mr. Moody. Yes, yes. Where's Mr. Austin? He should be here any moment, Mr. Moody. Send him in the minute he comes. Yes, Mr. Moody. Good morning, Miss Wilson. Go right in, Mr. Austin. Mr. Moody's waiting for you. Good. Good morning, Annie. Good morning, R.P. Glad to see you. Hi, Tilly. Start toiling. Here's the morning news, right on the dot. What happened to Pickle Puss? Did you go out of that jam he was in yesterday? Yeah, he made it all right. Just the cups were closed. Oh, don't I... tell me. I want to read it later. Say, how come his nibs is so scared of the comics? If I could make a million bucks with him like he did, I'd, I'd die laughing. Uh, why don't you send one in and see what happens? A very funny idea. The girl that worked before me forgot just once. The comics went inside, and boom, she was outside. Yeah, well, that makes a difference. 
That's why I like you, Henry. You're honest. Don't try to impress me like everyone else. Hilton, for instance. He's just waiting for me to retire. Oh, I thought you approved of him, that he was going to marry Betty. He's the man Betty thinks she wants to marry. I'm not going to interfere. I made a mistake in my own marriage. Who am I to tell her what to do? I like Betty. I hope she'll be happy and never want for anything. She won't, at least financially. Oh, then you're going to give Hilton the business. Yes, but not the way he expects. He's a lucky young man. I hope he appreciates it. Henry, the art of appreciation is lost in this world of dog eat dog. Everybody is out for something. I know. A bunch of cutthroats. Good morning, Marjorie. Good morning. I'll take this in. Good morning, Miss Moody. Good morning, Henry. How's Dad? Wonderful. He brightens up my whole day. <laughs> well, Dr. Calloway, it's good to see you. It's a pleasure. Miss Moody, this is Dr. Swatsky of Prague. Zvatsky with the V, Calloway. Oh, sorry. With a V. How do you do? How do you do? If you gentlemen will wait here a minute, I'll go in and prepare Dad. That glint in your eyes can mean only one thing. You've got an idea. I have, and it's a good one. I was afraid of that. Well, what is it? Do you take your medicine? No. Why not? Because my medicine does you more good than it does me. Now, open. Now, do you feel better? Very much better. Hello, Dr. Calloway. I hope you have better luck this time. Well, I'm sure we will. I'm fortunate in having Dr. Zvatsky with me on the case. Dr. Zvatsky? Oh. Zvatsky, yes, Zvatsky. This is very, very interesting. Calloway, my dear colleague, I haven't seen one like this recently. Wait a minute. There's nothing wrong with me. Mr. Moody's the man you want. Moody, yes, Mr. Moody. This is a very intriguing example of the paranoid type. Yes. Consolidated up four points. Associated up five. Go ahead and order that mink coat. But Hilton told me to sell both of them yesterday. Hilton, Hilton, Hilton! Were you calling me, R.P.? No, I'm not calling you. I'd like to forget you. Now, Daddy, don't get upset. What would Dr. Calloway think if he saw you this way? Dr. Calloway? Yes, and we're very lucky. He's brought a famous specialist from Prague. Specialist medicines, what good do they do? Betty, I know you're trying to help me, but it just won't work. All your doctors, specialist medicines, none of them do any good. Please, Dad, try it just once more. This time we'll win. I'll bet on it. All right, but if you lose, this will be the last time. It's a bet. Dr. Calloway, Father will see you now. Oh, Dr. Spotsky? Yes? Uh, no, uh, oh, thank you very much, thank you. <clears throat> oh, thank you, thank you very much, Dr. Hello, Calloway. Mm. Dr. Spotsky, Mr. R.P. Moody. R.P. Moody, how do you do, how do you do, Mr. Moody? Melancholia maribundus, Dr. Calloway. Uh, the pleasure is all mine. You're welcome to it. Mm. In going over your case with Dr. Calloway, we have found that sanity runs in your family. Right now, I doubt it. Now, I also found out that you're a successful businessman. Don't you feel sometimes that you're all alone? No, 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 please, please don't interrupt me. Uh, quiet, please. Shh. Now, at times you have the feeling as though you're in total darkness. Answer me, please. Yes, many times. Good, good, like going somewhere. Now, tell me, please, when, when those things do occur? When I turn out the light and go to bed. When you turn out the lights and go... No, 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 no. When you laugh, when you laugh, is it a high-pitched laughter, like... <laughs> or is it, is it perhaps a hysterical one, like... <laughs> it has a slow start and then builds up. Or is it a, a full, full, whole-hearted laughter, deep, like... <laughs> I never laugh. You never laugh, no, no. 
That, that you don't mean. That I do mean. I haven't smiled, let alone laughed in 20 years. Dr. Calloway, that I cannot believe. An acute case of melancholia. Hmm, I don't know. The diagnosis we have left behind, my dear colleague. The reasons for it, the etiology, the prognosis of it. That's what, what I cannot understand. The facial muscles? The facial, the facial muscles. That is correct. That is correct. Uh, will you please lean back? Mm hmm Like this. The facial muscles. Hmm. That's strange. Strange. Very strange. Very, very strange. No, no, that's correct. Now let's see the facial muscles and reactions. Let's see another. Uh, uh, observe, Dr. Calloway. Absolutely normal reaction. Now, let's see this. Uh, sit back, please. Sit back. Mm. 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 No. Everything's absolute, you know. Bet or no bet, he's going too far. No, 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 Mr. Uh, 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 Moody. Mr. Moody, yes. Mr. Moody. Now, please, please, try to think, if you can. Twenty years ago, twenty years ago, remember? Your daughter was just a little baby. What happens to you then? What happened 20 years ago is no concern of yours. And I've had about all I can stand uh, for today. Uh, Dr. Calloway, unless I have a full cooperation, we're getting no place fast. This is only an idea, a clue, uh, perhaps a parallel to jump from. What is it, Dr. Svatsky? My dear young lady, in 1783, Philip of Spain was suffering from melancholia so moribund that it threatened his life. After research, a singer was found, whose voice had a therapeutic effect. Now, the singer provided the tonic, and the king imagined. The king was healed. Oh, brilliant, a massively analysis. Well, thank you, thank you very much. Now, the cure, it is simple. All we have to do is make Mr. Moody laugh. I could have told you that without a fee. The whole world needs laughter. Laughter is a medicine, and you can't take an overdose of it. It's good for what ails you. Falling hair, falling arches, bunions. Why, the whole world's crying for it. Say, why don't we bottle it and go into business? It is a very refreshing point of view. Well, there must be somebody who can make him laugh. I doubt it. Tim, I've got the beginning of an idea. And I've got the end of it. If the King of Spain was cured by one singer, then we'll hire the best talent that money can buy. They should be able to do something for Dad. Freddie Fisher and his band. George McKay. Bill. Daddy. Peppy. And Peanut. Darby and Darnell. Isabelita and the Guadalajara boys. Chewy Reyes and his Trocadero band. Like riding his musical maniac. <laughs> and Bob Roberts. And Mervyn. Alphonse Berger and Doris Duane. Al Mardo and his pal. Where's Haskins? Huskins took the day off to get married, sir. I'm his brother. Who brought that beast in here? I did, sir. He's not a beast. He's my dog. Well, I'm allergic to dogs, and I think I'm going to be allergic to you. Get him out of here. Say, listen, if you want any help, you better take what's available. And with me, it's love me, love my dog. Besides, he's a fine dog. I'm crazy about him. The greatest trick dog that ever lived. But he won't do easy tricks. Only big tricks. And the bigger the tricks, the better he'll do them. Did you get that build-up I gave you? I told him you won't do easy tricks, only big tricks. Come on, let's show him some class. Ready? Stand up, boy. Up. Come on, boy. Stand up. Up. Come on, boy. Stand up. Up. <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> uh, lay down. Dead dog. When I say dead dog, you lay down. Well, he don't have to lay down. He's dead standing up. <laughs> look, over here. I'll show you. Look, right here. Right here, look. Over here. Come on, boy. Come on. Head up, boy. Right here. Look, did you see that trick? <laughs> he moved. I hope he didn't strain his shoulder, that's all. Take it easy. You're working a little too fast. Slow up a little. Take your time. Go ahead. Lay down, will you? Lay down, will you? 
Uh, I think the suit is too big for you. Look at that, look. <laughs> Maybe he's expecting mumps. Why don't you stop suffering and lay down? Collapse, fold up, lay down. You won't believe it. When I first got that dog, he couldn't do nothing, you know. <laughs> Go on and bark. Come on, bark. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Would you like to see him do one more trick? This is the last trick, of course. Come here, Flash. Flash. Come here, Flash. Come on, boy. Look at that speed he's burning up today. He couldn't go any further. It's a little uphill over here. <laughs> now the dog is going to jump. He's raring to go. Look. Can you make it? One, two, three. Go. There he goes. There he goes. Go flunk. He's a little out of wind now. Take your time. Why don't I give him a little rub down so he can do it again? Try it again. This time, sneak up on it and fall on the other side. Go ahead. Go. There he goes. There he goes. Boom. Well, anyway, this is the way he looks after he jumps. Like that. There it is. Oh, he's a great pet, I'm telling you. There's no limit to his tricks. Look at him running around here. Look at that. There he goes. Kaflunk. Boom. And besides, the dog is a great music lover. Oh, he loves high-class music. But let me tell you, of all the music he's ever heard, he likes my music the best. He'd rather hear me play one song on this harmonica than eat 40 or 50 steaks. And this is his favorite song, played by his master. Callaway, my dear. This is the moment when we should observe our patient at the closer range. Yes, at the closer range. Mm -hmm. Much closer range. <laughs> doctor, doctor, what happened? Contradictory symptoms, Callaway. Most contradictory. <clears throat> uh, tell me, please, what is his next move? Oh. Breakfast. Breakfast, that is very good. Very good. Where's Hilda? She took the day off to marry Hutkins, sir. Oh. What are you doing here? Well, I'm waiting for Vaudeville to come back. Here are your three-minute eggs, sir. Now, uh, do you like him that young, or, uh, or would you prefer him on the older side? Betty! 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 That gag always went good in Kansas City. Betty? Who, who this man around here trying to take my job? Oh, it's just for the day, Pygmy. Oh, he's only here for the day. I didn't... For the day? What is he going to do here today? He's here to entertain father. Oh, entertain your father. Well, I think if you give me a chance to drop my hair, I can entertain your father. And I'm dropping my hair right now. What are you doing here? Well, I, I, uh... Oh, uh, uh, Mr. Jones is just helping. Yeah, helping out. Well, help me out and tell me who you're helping. Well, uh... uh well, uh, you, aren't we, Tim? Yeah, select the entertainment. What entertainment? For the employee's anniversary party, why... When yeah. did you get that idea? Well, we... Uh, uh, recently. Uh, in fact, quite recently. Yeah, that's right. Well, it's not a bad idea. Well, let's start selecting. I've got a place of business to go to. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Moody, Mr. Moody, one more question. Will I you ask asking... me later, please? I have something to look at. Keep crying, for 
I seem to be lost in a crazy dream And I'm hopelessly drifting along Crying Every night by the phone I keep crying I'm just groping around in a hazy dream For well, there's no use in dreaming alone oh, The harder I try to forget all our moments The more the tears come to my eyes And why I'm lonely Every morning I wake And I'm lonely As the days pass me by I go drifting along Just like a ship That drifts along at sea I was crying last night too, Robert. I was gonna cry. <laughs> Robert, look at me cry. I cried because you. I was. I cried. <laughs> Robert, Robert, you said you said you had to show up. To a sheep. The lamb, doctor. The lamb, the sheep, the mutton, what's the difference? It is so beautifully symptomatic of father fixation. Now, I ask you, where is the mother? Uh, no, 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 all right, don't answer, don't answer. I'm going to ask Mr. Moody myself. I've asked him already once, and I'm going to ask him again. Watch me. Mr. Very Moody. good, very good entertainment will please my employers. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Mr. Moody, there's one more thing I would Dr. like to... Dr. Oblatsky, please, I'm occupied. Mr. Moody, my name is Dr. Zvatsky with the V. Well, I'll attend to that, sir. Doris, you can't wear a bathing suit. I'll have to put some more clothes on you.
this. Beautiful. The dress. afternoon dress no pins no pin Your impulses. 
Just remembered. The anniversary of the Moody Comics was three months ago. Betty! Betty! Well, he was bound to find out sooner or later. Don't worry about it. I'm not. I was thinking about something the doctor said. What? He was digging in the past. Oh, and the old man didn't like it, huh? Well, there must be souvenirs or keepsakes or something around the house. Not in the house. Wait a minute. There's a confidential file in the office. No one ever touches it. I've got it. We'll rob the joint. In broad daylight? No, tonight. There you are, Raffles. Start raffling. Hardly worthy of my talents. Well, this is going to be very easy. knife. Maybe I should have brought a tool kit. Oh, you should find what you want in here. Why? Lighter, fire, powder. <laughs> Let's blast. Blast this time of the night? Might wake up the watchman. So don't worry about that. This building would have to fall down before we could wake up Ansel. Ansel? Uh, the watchman. Dear old Ansel. There's only one trouble with this thing. It won't open. Oh, why didn't you say so in the first place? Marvelous, darling, marvelous. What's that? Just Ansel, remember? Oh, yeah, Ansel. When may we expect it? Just three more doors. Uh, two more. Uh, perhaps you better go through this. After all, it's your past. Not afraid of old skeletons, are you? Your skeletons don't worry me. Mother and Daddy when they were first married. Hmm. Mother's kind of pretty, isn't she? You know, put a modern dress on her and it could be you. Yeah. Am I crazy? Why, your father's laughing. Yeah. It's too bad he can't laugh like that now. He's awfully happy then. Uh-oh, oh. oh. Good evening, Ansel. Who are you? Oh, I was expecting Ansel. I wasn't expecting anybody. What's your name? Uh, Betty Moody. Betty Moody. Betty Moody. Oh, yes. Uh, your name is on my list, Miss Moody. Yes, well, I'm glad my name's on your list. Well, good night. Good night, Miss Moody. Huh. All the time I thought you knew, Ansel. Tim, isn't it terrible the way people have violent tempers when they're young? Oh, that's all right, darling. I'll forgive you. 
Mother refers to it as artistic temperament. Father calls it blank, blank, blank stubbornness. <laughs> and three years later, they're of the same opinion. Apparently, they haven't changed a bit. Tim, that could never happen to us, could it? Not in a million years, darling. Maybe we're going to have Connors again. Oh. Back in your cave. Why, Betty? I saw a light in the office as I was driving by, and I thought I'd come up and investigate. And now that you've investigated? I am perfectly satisfied with what I found. What have you found? You. Just when I was getting the silly idea that I'd lost you. You have. Betty, be sensible. You're not going to let a ridiculous infatuation for a fellow like Jones upset your whole future. Just a minute, Bob. You're going too far. Where did you come from? In there. What are you doing here? Looking after Miss Moody's future, starting now. And I'd say you've got a great start going through Mr. Moody's private papers. Hilton, I think you'd better leave. I'm going to. And when I go, I'll walk out, not sneak out. Sneak out? Isn't that clear? Perfectly clear. I'm not forgetting this, Jones. We'll settle this later. Good morning, R.P. Where'd you get that, Hilton? Well, it was this way. I know, you ran into a door. Yes. Uh, no, I was driving by the office last night, and I saw a light through the window. I came up to investigate, and I found one of your employees going through your private papers. Going through my papers? Yes. Uh, naturally, I took exception, and that's how I got the black eye. Who was it? Timothy Jones. Jones? Why, that good for nothing. How do you do, Mr. Not now, Swatsky. Um, Good morning, oh, Dr. Swatsky. the paranoid type. But now look, Dr. Swatsky, uh, I know, but the me, last time I saw you, I told you that Mr. Moody it's was a gentleman that you should have yes, talked to. I know, but I'm awfully busy. You should get excited. You see, in criminal Dr. types, Swat it's the most I, I know, but I'm not the one you know. I'm not the one that you Strange character, isn't he? Monk, we'll run through it a couple times before we try it on Tim. Ah, the story begins away out west. What am I going to be? You're going to be Monk the Killer. Uh, I'm not afraid of you. Besides, you've got Little Rollo and Bill Phillips, the two boy rangers, trapped in the cabin. Monk, you move out. Be ready to make a run to the door. I'll get the chalk. I'll get the mail sack. This is the cabin. Uh-huh. What's that? Little cabin. <clears throat> oh, remember now, we are the two boy rangers. <laughs> <laughs> and you pre-solified. <laughs> the most powerful youth in all the land. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah, it's a matter of minutes before the killer bashes down the door. Yes, send fear to seize the mill sack. Aha! Okay, monk. On the floor, on the floor. Row! We've got the killer, quick, the soap. You mean the rope? The rope, the rope! The rope, the rope! I got it! That's the rope! Nope, there we are. I'm trying fast, Phyllis, but we'll win through. Sure, we'll win through. Certainly. Hey! Once more, the Boy Rangers come through with victory, right? They'll keep coming. They'll come through the end of time. They'll always come. The Boy Rangers will always come. What are you? Hey, how can you be standing there and in the sack, too? Well, it ain't me. Well, who's in the sack? Yeah, who's in the sack? Well, I don't know. You scoundrel! Oh, Mr. You Moody! You scoundrel! You're through, you're finished! Yeah, yeah. Get out and stay out! Yeah, I know, I'm throwing them out. Uh, send my mail to the club, will you, boys? Bye. Yes, bye. Get out of here, both of you! A boy ranger never fails! He always goes through! Everything, everything bad, mainly Jones. Now, wait a minute, Dad. Nobody's going to sneak behind my back and pry through my private office. I kicked him out. Tim was with me last night. We both poked through your office. Betty! Dad, we were only trying to help you. That's another thing I will not stand for. I will not allow anybody to pry into my private life. Well, this time you're going to stand for it. It's my life, too, and up until now you've run it. Run it? 
I've been an indulgent father. Right. You've indulged yourself for 20 years. Made me miserable and sorry for you. Now I know why Mother... Your mother has nothing to do with this. Leave her out of it. I'm not going to leave her out of it. She's my mother, and I'm glad I found out she's a person instead of a rumor. And... And another thing. Whether you like Tim or not, I love him. You came in at the joint. I'm sorry about what happened, Tim. I came as soon as I left Dad. How'd you leave him? Alone. I wish we were alone. What would you do? This. Don't you worry, baby. We'll get along. After all, I've still got that comic strip running. You know, as far as your dad's concerned, he's through with me. But I'm not through with him. Neither am I. And we've got unfinished business. If we could only find Mother. You know, Tim, Henry might be able to help. Henry? Yeah. He's been shaving Dad for the last 30 years. He knows him better than anyone. Hey, Murph, give me a phone, will you? Got the number? Yeah. They didn't have saloons like this when I was your age. Club Henry. Oh, so that's what they call them now. What do they have? Lemonade. Lemonade. I get what you mean, but uh, what's in it? Lemons, sugar, and water. Lemons, sugar, water. Henry, I thought you might be able to tell us something about Mother. Where can we find her? Well, she spends her winters in California, the summer season in Connecticut, and the play season here. Then she should be here now. Well, if she is, she's at the Tower Hotel. Tower Hotel? She's a writer, you know, under the name of Lacey Thornton. Get excited, darling. Oh, I'm not excited. I just realize what this means. You see, I've never seen my mother. Now that you're going to see her, you wonder what she's like. Yeah. Whether she'll like you and... Me. Well, there's only one way to find out. Do come right in. Oh, it's such a relief to be with young people. You know, usually I'm interviewed by these horribly businesslike people who insist upon pinning you down to places and dates and, uh... Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Jones. Mr. He's 
He's going to be your son. Uh, that is, I'm going to marry him and I'm your daughter. Why, how delightful. Oh, I love romance. In fact, a daughter? A Betty? <laughs> oh. Oh, it just doesn't seem possible. A little Betty, grown into such a beautiful young lady. And about to marry such a beautiful young man. Oh, it's... Uh... Beautiful, period. Oh, 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 do sit down. Oh. I wrote your story once. Uh, let me see. It was the book before the last. No, uh, the one next to that. Mother, Dad has been... Well, he hasn't been well, and I thought maybe that we could help him. Oh, poor Phineas. He was always hard to understand. Uh, but he has done well in business, hasn't he? Haven't you heard? Oh, I've been away for months and months. Oh, ever so long. I used to do all my work in Europe, and oh, it's so stimulating. Mother, Dad... Dad is quite ill. No, is he? What are you doing here? You're just the guy I'm looking for. I'm here to do you a favor. Here, grab a chair and hang and hang on. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to double your production and triple your income. You know, you know the way things are now. The American working man's got to have something besides an automobile and a house and a lot. He's got to be made happy and he's got to be kept happy. Give music to make him happy. The American working man loves music. You can tell that by the way he jumps when the whistle blows. Why, sure, you just give him, give him that music and just make his day a big, long, beautiful song. The sky's the limit. Give him that old razzmatazz. Okay, boys, let him have it. <laughs> Dakota. I've even seen a little bit of Minnesota. Oh, give me that Tiaka too. <laughs> and let me holler, wahoo. Now, people think I'm in a rut, but that's because they're off their nut. Oh, give me that razzmatazz. completely sour on cartoons. Cartoons? What about cartoons? Why, uh, he was laughing at one the last time we were together. Or uh, next to the last time. Uh, we had gone to a cafe, or a modest little place, uh, to celebrate the night before his 35th birthday. That was the night he had the baby. He had the baby? You mean me? Uh, no, darling, a brainchild. Uh, he drew it on the wall of the cafe. 
Oh, poor Phineas. His one ambition was to be an artist. But uh, being artistic myself, I realized he could never be a great artist. And there's nothing worse than a poor artist, is there? No, nothing could be worse. That's just what I told Phineas. Oh, it was dreadful. He created quite a scene. Poor Phineas. I never realized what that cartoon meant to him. I can. Maybe that cartoon was an idea and you shattered it. You took everything oh, away. Oh, uh, no, I didn't. It was on the wall of the cafe. Maybe it might revive something, give him a new life. Tim, would it be wonderful if it would? Oh, but that was 20 years ago. It surely wouldn't be there now. Could you remember where the cafe was? Well, I don't know. But it would be fun to try, wouldn't it? That's the chance we'll have to take. I love to go places. I remember once in London with the Earl of Campersdown. Mother, is this your idea of a nice, cozy little place? I'm positive this is where it was. Or is it? Good evening, sir. A table for three, please. Just a moment, sir.
If you could... Uh, yeah, uh, don't go yet. Yes. If you could remember approximately where it was. Yes, I remember. I remember it was, that wall. Fine. Uh, was it near the corner? Yes, it... Uh, yes, it was in that corner. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, uh, I guess all. We were down. Qu'est-ce que vous voulez? Je veux un peu. Un peu frais. Uh, S'il vous plaît. Oh, un peu frais, madame. Et comment? Je veux un peu. Excuse me, Curly. Uh, Monsieur, if you insist on annoying our guest, I'll have to ask you to leave. Pardon me, Junior. Junior, huh? Darling, didn't I teach you not to flirt with strange ladies? Oh, but you can meet some lovely people that way. But Mother, would you say the picture would be about here? Yes, it would be right there. Only over there. like that. No picture. No picture. No picture. Sorry, Gus. Yeah. Eddie, you're all wrong. I looked and the little man wasn't there. But, Madame, Madame? But why an egg? I ordered roast beef medium. Madame, F is an egg, F is beef. You ordered F and not there. Why didn't you say that in the first place? Madame. Oh, he doesn't understand French. They're probably born in Brooklyn. <laughs> Well, I know it here someplace. Then it's very simple. All we have to do is take all the paper off the wall. Oh, oh not all the paper. Uh, just, uh, just the part over the picture. See, we couldn't do that. Now, uh, supposing the picture were here. Oh, the picture isn't there. All you have to do is put the piece back. The baby. There it is. Right where I said it would be. Uh, uh, would you mind bringing our check? Mine? It will be a pleasure. would recognize his own work, but you've got to draw it so that he will. I never pay bills. I just sign my name. I was afraid of something like this. I'll have to see the manager. That's a good idea. I hate to complain, but I think he ought to know how you annoy him. Gentlemen, observe that the original cartoon has its lines up, up, and up. That means that the creator of it was in the up mood. In other words, to say, happy. That's good logic. Thank you very much. How's that, Hetty? I really can't say, Timothy, but uh, it does look a little like quack quack, don't you think? Could be. Keep it up, Tim. You're doing swell. Oh, that isn't it. Well, Tim, take a look at mine, will you? Yeah. Gentlemen, of course, I'm not an artist, but from the medical point of view, if Mr. Timothy will trade his nose with this gentleman's ears... Oh, no, no. He couldn't do that. But why? Because I like his nose much better. Thank you, Harry. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Timothy. Yes? Uh, remember that laughter that you wanted to put in bottles? Yes. Do you think that has commercial possibility? Oh, definitely. Definitely. How's that, Harry? Timothy, I just know that is not quack quack. No? That's baby. All right, let's go home. Let's put baby to bed. That's oh, it. Well, congratulations ah. to you, Mr. Timothy.
got to hurry. The cab's waiting. I don't want you to miss this train. I right? don't intend to. Ah, this is perfect for you. California relaxation in the sun. Say, by the way, Hilton. Bet he happens to need anything. Now, you look out for her, won't you? Of course, R.P. Leave everything to me. You just get out in that sun. Stop harping on that sun business, will you? I don't tan, I burn. I know that, but as I was saying, count on me. Forget the firm. I've forgotten it already. R.P., we've got to go. The cab's waiting. If you've forgotten anything, I'll send it to you. Say, who's taking this trip, you or me? But you know, I haven't seen Phineas for years, and it gives me a funny feeling. Or am I beginning to be afraid? You don't have to be afraid. We're doing all we can. If he growls at you, you just growl right back, Mother. Oh, uh, are you taking a trip? Those are Father's bag. Yes, he's off for California. If you'll excuse me, there's a cab waiting. Oh, but he can't do that to us. And not after all the trouble we've gone to. Uh, you just explain it to him, Mother. Oh, Phineas. Why, Hetty. Oh, Phineas, dear, how wonderful you look after all these years. Why, it seems just like yesterday, and we were so happy. And you were so foolish. I was not foolish. Now, Phineas, if you're going to be stubborn, I'll have to growl at you. And remember, you didn't like it before. So don't be silly and do it all over again. I am not silly. Then why are you taking a trip? You took a trip, a long one. Oh, uh, but I like trips. Trips are so nice. Uh, but you can't. Not that we've just found each other. Oh, Hetty, my little flutter brain. If you'll excuse me, R.P., we've got to get going. The train won't wait. Hilton, can't you see I'm busy? A young man. Uh, just explain to them that he'll be a few moments late. <laughs> oh, uh, Phineas, I want you to meet two of the nicest young people. Hetty, I don't want to meet any more people. I've met enough people today, forever. Uh, that's such a sweet thought, Phineas. But we'll be all alone, or almost, and we'll see the picture together. Picture? Yes, it'll be like old times, Phineas, darling. <laughs> but I don't want to see any picture, now or any other time, and that's fine. Father, you sit right down. Uh, Phineas, you'd better do as she says. I guess you're right. Chip off the old block. My paranoia. Now, I know that I'm the paranoid type. Mr. I know that, and we've been all through that, but my name is not Dr. Moody. Now, look. Now, look. I'm not the paranoid type. Ha, 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 ha. 